Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in again. Guys, I recently got asked from a friend of mine who is pretty much a beginner in the sport. Yes, he's got some basics down when it comes to fishing, but he really doesn't know what gear to have. He doesn't have much, but he's got two boys and they both want to go fishing. He doesn't want to do the bobber thing. He wants to go fish for bass. And he asked me, what are some baits that he thought I should rec or that I could recommend to him that he could use and his boys could use? And he's like, you know, he was, he's kind of going over different things that he's kind of familiar with. And he's like, Matt, basically uncomplicated baits. That's what he wants. And I was like, man, that's a term I don't know that I've, I've ever really used when it comes to fishing tackle, but it's a good term in the form of talking about specific baits or techniques. And in this case, baits, what he wants are baits that he can rig up simply don't require a bunch of crazy knots or tag ends or different types of things going on. When it comes to using the bait, it's pretty much a cast and retrieve type style bait. It's not like you need to impart a bunch of action with your rod tip. He's really just looking for something that he can go out, hopefully catch some fish, and it's not going to require a lot of effort or a lot of training on his part to, to get his kids up to speed. And I was like, I got you covered. I got a bunch of baits that are really easy baits and extremely productive. I mean, just because they're uncomplicated does not mean they don't catch fish. Heck, one of the baits, a wacky rig, is one I just won $180,000 on at the Mississippi River. So, uh, you know, just because it's uncomplicated doesn't make it a good bait. And in fact, I could argue that the uncomplicated baits are the best baits for everyone to be using from beginner to professional. So I've got for you five baits that I really think are kind of no-brainers in terms of their product productivity and their uncomplicatedness, if that's a word. Uh, it really just comes down to how easy they are to use. So I'm going to share these with you. You know, again, to a lot of you out there, they're probably not groundbreaking baits. But to a lot of you, hopefully they will be baits. Maybe you haven't tried them before and there's something that you can use to catch a few fish. Because you can use these across the country pretty much year round, almost, you know, for any, any species of bass. That's how good they are. So the first one I already mentioned was a wacky rig. This is just a Berkeley five inch max scent, the general, uh, one of my favorites. This is the bait that I won the Mississippi river event on, uh, green pumpkin. I was throwing a little bit of black and blue as well. Uh, but the point is it's just simply a wacky rig. You hook it in the middle, either with a weighted hook like this Fusion 19 or a weightless hook, you throw it out, you let it sink to the bottom. At that point, that's the majority of your cast. Yes, you can kind of work it back a little bit back to the boat, but it's pretty much cast and let fall to the bottom and then repeat. That is the best way to go about it. In my opinion, the five inch is the best size to get. But this is, no matter where you're at, no matter if you're fishing from a boat or the bank or pond hopping, whatever it is, the Wacky Rig is such a good proven fish catcher around the country that that would for sure be one of the baits I would mention. Now next up is going to be just a small swim bait. This is just a 3.3 Kitek, just a simple, simple swim bait. Uh, it's got a lot of good tail motion, catches a pile of fish. I've got it rigged up on a 3 16th ounce 2 aught core tackle tush. Uh, it's pretty much cast and retrieve. These little swim baits, is, it's simply you throw it out, straight retrieve it, and you're going to catch fish. Whether that's small bass, whether it's pike, whether it's walleye, crappie, perch, you can pretty much catch everything on a little 2.8 or 3.3 swim bait. Uh, just a killer little presentation. For me, these two baits are two of my go-to baits when I am doing guide trips, just in terms of getting beginners out there uh, catching fish, because it's simply cast, retrieve. Very, very simple when it comes to the uh, level of complicatedness with that, with that bait. So next up, we're going to go to a hard bait. Now, most hard baits, most power fishing baits, I feel like are not simple baits to use in that Yes, they're cast and retrieve, but they generally excel when you do more than just straight retrieve. Uh, yep, you can put a chatter bait on, you can put a spinner bait on, you can cast and wind, but there's more, in my opinion, to really make those baits excel. So I stayed away from most power fishing baits. Crank baits, I feel like, are the same thing. It would be hard to give 
a, you know, a youngster, a crankbait or a beginner, a crankbait, you know, who to go out there and say, cast and wind this. Cause generally speaking, you're fishing pretty specific targets and it's a little bit more intense just trying to work a crankbait. But one hard bait that I did think would have to be included is a popper. This is the Rebel Pop R, one of my favorite topwater baits of all time. This is about as easy as it gets when you're talking topwater baits. You throw it out, you twitch the rod tip, you make the bait go bloop. That's what it comes down to. You make it, you know, you, you throw it around. If you're talking about fishing on some sort of grass flat or some shallow cover, you throw it around that flat, you bloop it all over the place. And generally, if there are active fish in that area, you can get some good bites on a topwater. The other reason I wanted to include a topwater for my buddy's uh, bait selection was because if you can get fish or if you can get people catching fish on topwaters, that generally hooks them to the sport better than any other bait. The excitement of a topwater explosion is, pr is pretty uh, addictive. So to me, when you're talking ease of topwater baits, a popper like the pop bar here is one of the easiest ones to go around with. So next up, I'm going to go back to the core tackle hover rig, guys. Like core tackle hover rig paired up with whatever straight tail worm you like. This is a Kitek 4-inch Shad Impact, one of my favorites on here. Uh, it's a simple, simple bait to use. Now, I will say there is more level of complicatedness to this if you want to start fishing the suspended fish. But if you want to fish it basically like a Ned rig or a Wacky rig, it catches the fire out of them. You simply you know, rig the bait up, you throw it out, you let it fall to the bottom on slack line. When it's doing that, the bait is slowly falling and gliding all over the place, which generates a pile of bites. So from the standpoint of a simple bait to use, it's good to go. Now there is a little bit of rigging complicatedness to it, but once you understand how to rig it, it's simple. So, and, and not only is it simple, the bait stays on extremely well. So he can rig this up, give it to his kids, and the kids can go throw this around. The other thing I really like about it is that it does, if you get the weedless version, you can get it where, you know, they're not going to get snagged nearly as much as if they were throwing an exposed hook. So to me, a core tackle hover rig paired up with a straight tail like the Kitek Shad Impact is a very, very uncomplicated bait if you're just looking at catching fish. The last one I'm going to talk about is, again, another soft plastic bait. So something like this soft jerk bait, this is the Berkeley Power Jerk, uh, phenomenal soft jerk bait. And again, you're going to rig it just in a simple weightless Texas manner, Texas rig manner, throw it out and let the bait glide around. You twitch it, you kind of walk it all over the place and it doesn't take that much. In fact, if you give them a, a bait that's kind of this white pearl or a chartreuse or something that's bright, it's a visual bait and they can have a good time just working the bait back and forth. I often find, you know, the same thing with like glide baits, the, the big baits that are visual and you can see how your twitch of the rod tip affects the movement of the bait. That's something that even if you're not catching fish, it gives some engagement to the angler to really kind of start to enjoy the sport and see how the sport functions based on your rod and reel movement and how that affects the bait. So a soft jerk bait is definitely another uncomplicated bait. To me, these five baits are some of the best baits to take out, to catch a pile of fish, and at the same time not get an angler frustrated with not knowing the proper knots or the proper way to rig something. Uh, you know, in terms of like a drop shot's a great bait, but you got to understand how to tie a drop shot knot. You got to leave a tag end. You got to tie a weight on. There's more that goes into that than just simply putting a wacky rig on your hook. Uh, so hopefully this was helpful to some of you out there that were looking to get some kids engaged in, in fishing. Maybe you yourself need a little bit of pointers in terms of what baits to use. If you're really just looking to catch fish, understand, you know, kind of get into the sport. These five baits will help you do that. Uh, I'll put links to all of these on my uh, video description. So if you want to check them out, you can click the links to go uh, take a look at them at Tackle Warehouse. And other than that, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned, new video coming out tomorrow.